starting with toposolid enhancements. Okay, one of the things that you can actually do to the toposolids nowadays is actually go ahead and give it an offset, whether it's a negative offset or a positive offset, you can actually give that to your subdivision. Not only can you do that, but you are now have the option of selecting of the type of, of topo solids that you're going to be implementing. Okay, now that is huge, especially, okay, for landscaping. This, this is starting to look more and more powerful. I see a lot of good things happening with this topo solid enhancements as the actual software improves over time. So let's take a look and see how this actually is working. Let's go ahead and close all of these. Right, and let's go ahead and open the topo solids or topography. At this point, I have to tell you that I had already taken the liberty of importing a CAD file, okay? Now I said importing because it's actually, this is the only way to see these particular options is through the import section, okay? You don't see this, if you were linked, you, would, you wouldn't be able to see the actual layers, but that's okay. For this particular case, what we're going to do is gonna work perfectly. So let's go ahead and convert this into a topo solid. Right now it's just a two dimensional uh, um, a line work that has uh, um, elevation values. So let's go into the massing and site, topo solid, create from import. And rather than create from CSV, which we all know is actually a Excel uh, spreadsheet, we're going to say create the actual topo solid from a CAD. And the CAD is this one right here. You'll notice that automatically, this is the default one, the topo solids grassland 16 inches. That means that the thickness of the actual object that we are going to be selecting is 16 inches. I'm just gonna go ahead and select it so you can see what happens. It tells me, okay, what layers are you going to be using? Well, I don't need zero layer, but I do need the topography layer. And I say, okay, to that, and there it is, okay? This thickness in here, is 16 inches, okay? That's so you know. 16 inches from the bottom to the top of the surface. It doesn't make, uh, it doesn't necessarily say that the, that this uh, actual sloping surface is gonna be that thickness. No, that's the minimum thickness. So let's go ahead and move forward and see what can we do with this? Well, let's go ahead, first of all, in order for clarity, let's go ahead and switch this over to hidden line so we can see this a little bit better. Let's go ahead and select it. And as you can see, uh, and you probably already know from previous issues, you know, it's pretty much like a, a, um, um, a, a floor slab or a, um, uh, or a roof slab in that it gives you the ability to add points and split lines and all that other stuff. But there's an additional to topo solid sh shaping right here which is called subdivision, simplified uh, topo solid and excavate. We're only going to be looking at the so subdivision now for the sake of time. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with subdivision. Okay, it's going to ask us what, are you, what shape are you going to be using? In this particular uh, uh, instance, I actually want to build a pool here. So let's go ahead and say rectangle. Okay, and I'm going to just lay my rectangle right about there. So this is my rectangle that has been already made. Let's go ahead and cancel this part and switch the type of material or that or the topo solid object that we're gonna be using to water because we said that that's a pool, right? Let's go ahead and see that this topo solid thickness, okay, the thickness of this object is based on the thickness of the material. You notice that the default thickness is set to 3.0, 3 but it's actually unavailable for modification because it is controlled in the structure. This is where it's controlled. Let's go ahead and switch that to 1.5 for the sake of argument and say okay to that. So you can see that you can actually go ahead and modify them as needed. Obviously, I would prefer for you, uh, I would in my particular work, uh, work uh, um, uh, flow, I change items, but not before I duplicate them. I don't like necessarily to modify any objects that are default. So let's go ahead and say okay to that. Okay, in this case, I'm just gonna leave it that we're demonstrating this and we're not gonna save it. Okay, before I do anything, what I will in fact do is I'm going to go ahead and copy these four lines to the clipboard. Okay, and I'm going to say check mark, I'm done with this. Okay, as you can see right here, 
there is my topo solid, okay? It's already set. If I switch it over to the realistic, there is my topo solid already placing. What you're looking at, this line here is actually, um, sorry, let me just go ahead and, uh, in actuality, it's going to be, this, this set of lines that you're seeing in actuality are your uh, topo solids from DWG. I'm just gonna go ahead and hide that to make it a little bit more, well, I'm just gonna leave it. Let's go ahead and, and move forward. They really don't have a lot of time in checking, selecting things that I don't want. Let's go ahead and now, remember, we actually went ahead and took the uh, actual perimeter of the pool and we copied it over to the clipboard because at this point we're going to use it to do another subdivision, okay? Now, uh, the subdivision is going to be, uh, I'm gonna switch over here to the, to the site plan, top view, and I'm going to paste those four objects that we had earlier. Okay, uh, align to current view, and there they are, okay? Now that I've got that in there, right? I'm going to say select, and I'm going to give it a six foot offset in order to create my deck. And I start sub uh, offsetting my edges. Now you might be asking yourself, why is it that it's coming in segmented when I went ahead and drew it as a single piece? It's that you have to remember, I am now looking at a, a sloped object. Therefore, these segments actually follow the slope at this point. Not the extrusion, it's the segments. And obviously, uh, in order to finish, finish this, I need to close this, such as this. Okay, and I'm going to assign, let's go ahead and say uh, wood planks here. Let's give it an inch offset. Okay, and let's go ahead and say apply, and let's say check mark, and there it is. How does it look like? Well, let's take a look in 3D and there you have it. Now, you will notice that I can select after the fact, I can select my pool and say, this is going to be a minus six inch offset, right? When I hit apply, it actually gives it to you. You can also do it on, on the creation aspect of it. Uh, I just happened to have forgotten, so I went ahead and decided to show it after the fact and let you um, see that you are not stuck with a workflow that everything has to be done at the beginning. You can actually do it at a, at a later stage. Got to remember to, re to do it if, you, if that is what you want, though. 